Yo, what's that family? Shalom. Hey, I want to talk with you guys about my, one of my favorites out of the Bible, Prophet Isaiah. And I want to talk about the, the Bible verse um, in chapter 52, verse 7. What does how the beauty on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news? What does that mean? Um, the prophet Isaiah, family, he announces how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news or proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. In this passage, Isaiah is looking forward in in a time to the Babylonian captivity when Jerusalem would be lying desolate. Isaiah speaks urgently to the Jews, telling them to wake up. And you can read that in Isaiah chapter 52, verses 1 and 2. As in the past, as captives of Egypt, you know, um, if you remember family, they had known God's punishment in verses 3 and 6, but soon they would know his salvation. Isaiah prophetically sees the messengers bringing their joyous good news to basically to a sad and forsaken land and how beautiful on the mountain are the feet of those who bring good news. You know, think about it. After a long and weary time of seeing Jerusalem in ruins, news would finally come of Judah's redemption. The prophet could even now see the bearers of the news running on the Judean mountainsides. Peace and salvation were were basically on the way. And it and, and of course that's good news to somebody, you know, that's seen their land be desolate and be in ruins. Brothers and sisters, God was going to set his people free <clears throat> excuse me, from captivity through the defeat of Babylon by the Persian king Cyrus. The Jews would be able to rebuild their fallen city and restore their temple, right? So Isaiah used poetic language, you could say, to describe the messenger's feet as being beautiful or lovely. The word beautiful carries the idea of the time of full bloom or mature development. So these feet were gorgeous, you know? They were absolutely just stunning. You know, it would be something that would just be, you would be in awe about with someone like, to see someone like this. Leaping over the mountains of Jerusalem with the swiftness of gazelles or young stags. <clears throat> um, you can read that in the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 17, or Solomon eight fourteen. The beauty of the feet emphasizes the rapid approach of the messenger, basically. It's without ceasing like they come in with the message and it's going to be glorious when they come with it and what a breathtaking beautiful sight it was for judah to see these feet springing toward them across the mountains i mean can you imagine how cool that would be these feet these feet carried messengers of good tidings of joy proclaiming peace salvation and announcement that god reigns he conquers you know what i'm saying that's awesome 100 years after Isaiah's time, the same imagery was used in Nahum in the prophecy concerning Judah's intimate victory over Assyria. Look there on the mountains, the feet of the one who brings the good news, who proclaims peace. Celebrate your festivals, Judah, and fulfill your vows. No more will the wicked invade you. They will be completely destroyed. Nahum chapter 1, verse 15. Nearly 1,000 years later, family, a thousand years later, the Apostle Paul described a similar message proclaiming the good news of peace and salvation in Yeshua, Jesus Christ. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Romans chapter 10, verses 14 through 15, family. Just as Judah celebrated the good news of deliverance from their enemies in the Old Testament, so we today rejoice in the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ, who sets us free from captivity to, you know, of, to sin, basically. We're free from it. You know, those chains are broken. That prison, you're set free from it. 
the statement, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring the good news, you can see that it refers not to the appearance of the feet family, but to their action. So the coming of the, sweet, the swift-footed messengers of the gospel of the kingdom of God is it, it's beautiful. It's majestic. You know, the runners seemed on, you know, dashing closer and closer on these mountains with long expected good news is lovely to even think about and it's lovely to see for those people and some of this still applies for us today when we hear the good news family and you need to be swift with your feet be in action don't be stagnant and just standing there these feet are appealing because those they are close at hand with good news of peace and salvation and God's rule, his sovereign rule that he's going to conquer. He's on the throne and he's in control. The Apostle Paul taught basically followers of Christ to put on the full armor of God as a spiritual defense against the dark forces of evil. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 13. He described one piece of armor as shoes for the feet, having put on the readiness given by the power of peace, by the gospel of peace, Ephesians 6, 15. So Paul, family, most likely had the words, you know, of Isaiah in mind here when he was saying this, to be to be basically appropriately equipped with God's armor means being ready and willing to share the gospel of peace with those who need salvation. And there's so many in this generation that are lost and need it, or being led away by false doctrines, family. So we need to be swift in our feet. We need to be going on the mountaintops and proclaiming the, the good news. The good news of the gospel brings God's peace through Yeshua, Jesus Christ, proclaims his great love for us and awakens us to his gifts of grace and mercy of true love. John 3:16, Romans 3:24, Romans 5:1. Also um Ephesians 2:4 family. So we need to proclaim it from the mountaintops always no matter what we face. But how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring the good news. Let your feet be beautiful and let them be an action family. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed week. Later.